I know you're excited about the next chapter in your basketball career, playing for the Lynx, but kind of cool that now Lindsey Whalen is the head coach here, right? Oh, absolutely. Uh, when I heard the news, I was so excited, and I know that the team was freaking out, and you can see that in the videos that <laughs> yeah. they posted that the team is ecstatic to have her here, and everybody, I think the whole university and the whole state's super excited to see what's going to happen. Well, I remember when we interviewed you your freshman year on the podcast, you were excited because Rachel Bannum was like one of your heroes and you were trying to like figure out how to act around her and like <laughs> if you always had to pass to her and those things. What do you remember? I mean, you're not as old as some of us who remember Waylon when she played here, but what do you remember about growing up where she really is maybe the face of women's basketball, basketball in general here in Minnesota? She just did everything. She was a, a scorer, a passer, a defender. She just did it all on the court. I remember that. And she did some crazy fun layups. I remember she had some nice finishes at the basket and she found teammates so well. So um, and she's just had such a long, successful career that, I mean, her credentials add up to be a, a great head coach. What do you remember about the first time she came to practice with you guys or the times that she came to practice with you guys? Well, the very first time I remember I was just like, oh my gosh, Lindsay Whalen is in the house. Like, <laughs> I was terrified, but super excited and got to meet her and kind of see how she interacted and played with us. And then uh, she came back more and more. She came up quite a bit this year in practice with us, so she definitely ups the level when, when she steps onto the court. Everybody's a little more serious. Everybody's a little more yep. locked in, um, more competitive, and definitely um, just raises the level for the whole team. Let's take a couple of more questions here with Carly, and we'll let her get going. Uh, Bruce wants to know, what can you bring to the Lynx or the strengths that you think uh, they'll be impressed with or that will help you make the squad? Yeah, I think I'm just going to stick with my strengths, and shooting is one of them, so... I think that's one of the strengths I can bring to the team is just um, outside shooting, definitely. Uh, maybe get some shots when they need them. So, yeah. So what's the timetable now from when training camp starts and what you'll be doing between now and then? Yeah, training camp starts April 29th. So in between then, I'll just be working out a lot, um, getting shots up, probably going back and forth between there and the Mayo Clinic Center, getting shots up with them. So, yeah, just really working on game until until the training camp starts, which is big time. So Last thing for you, Cheryl Reeve, I, think, I know said this to the media. I'm sure she said this to you as well. Uh, there's a lot of work to be done between now and training camp, and then obviously once training camp starts. And if you're thinking about making the team right now, you're probably doing yourself a disservice. Just focus on every little step to get there. Did she re relay that to you as well? Yeah, she did. Actually, when I met her right after the, the draft was over, she – kind of told me, um, yeah, like, don't focus on just making the team because that's you won't do your best if you're just worried about making the team. She goes, just take it day by day, um, possession, by, possession by possession, whatever drill we're doing, um, really stay in the moment and focus on that, and then you'll do a lot better from there, and, and it's a lot easier, not so stressful. Last thing, part two, question from Ben says, congrats, first of all, on being drafted by the Lynx. Do you ever want to be a coach in the future? And then he also wants to know if you got to pick your number already that you will wear as a member of the Lynx. Yeah, I could see coaching in my future. I don't know at what level, but I think I definitely want to stay around basketball and, and coach would be a blast. So, um, and as far as a jersey number, as of right now, I put down number 24. So, super excited to, to start a new number. Kobe Bryant, maybe? Oh, Kobe Bryant. I like that. That sounds good. Well, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for everything you did for the Gophers, and good luck as you uh, try to make the links here starting April 29th. And we'll make sure that this link is up. You can send it to the rest of your family that cool. might not have been able to watch uh, with your mom today. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for having me.